I'm working on the collection log one task at a time, using my runelight plugin called Collection Log Master. After completing the inferno last time, we are going to work on getting all of the forestry log slots in one go. But stay tuned, as there's a lot more coming afterwards as well. The Collection Log Before we start chopping away, I'd first like to give a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Factor75. Factor is the solution for you if you're someone like me who is terrible at cooking and tends to order way too much unhealthy takeaway. Factor delivers fresh meals that are ready to heat and eat in a matter of minutes. You don't have to do any of the prepping, so this way you can cut out any stressful meal planning. Factor even offers meals for those looking to follow keto, low calorie or vegan and vegetarian lifestyles. You can choose from a rotating weekly menu of 34 plus meal options and 36 plus add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts and more. With the OSRS League coming later this year, I am definitely going to sweat it out and Factor is going to help me so much by having my meals ready when I need them. It's honestly such a game changer for myself and I highly recommend trying it out right now. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POCKTEDDYSEP50 for 50% off of your first box. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen with your phone. Thank you so much again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Let's begin the forestry grind. So I've got a list of all the logs I need to green log forestry and I'm mainly missing oak logs, willow logs, arctic pine, yew logs and redwood logs and then of course all the bark that we need as well. I don't quite know how everything works yet but we're just gonna chop some yews with people and, and get bark. And, and stuff i think we're gonna chop stuff so does this guy this guy has the shop right we buy all the stuff here we need the kit cost free okay we'll buy one we have a kit now awesome yeah we're gonna keep the infernal cape on they'll have to sit in our inventory <laughs> i have now reached the yew tree oh there's something here the, what do i do there's a sapling i'm panicking add mulch create mulch using nearby ingredients to provide nutrient uh leaves more leaves no, only one leaves. Add mulch. Three ingredients. Green leaves. Droppings. Yes. No. What? Oh, so like one, two, three. I'm getting bark. Is is this forestry? Do you just... Is, is this it? Am I, am I doing forestry? Oh, there's like combinations. Oh, so you have to like get the... So it seems to accept it. Yes. Oh, right. So it's, it likes the droppings. DBM. Where are the other things? DB. Oh, there's mushrooms there as well. So D. What is B? Bark. Wh where's the bark? There's a plugin. Okay, we're installing whatever plugin it is. We got something though. We got bark. Cool. I love forestry. This is amazing. So, so we have 116, but we need 38,000. We're almost there basically. This is going swimmingly. I'm literally carrying. I found the perfect combination to be BRR and I let it know to everyone else. And now we're gaming. This better give me a lot of bark. That was so quick. Dude, what? I get like barely anything. <laughs> so far, forestry is kind of lackluster. <laughs> I mean, if I'll be honest. No way, there's like a leprechaun that appears and just banks your logs. What a legend. There's a roots call at the mid skill. I want to see what that means. Chop down tree roots. Chop chop. So I guess that's why you want the uh, the teleport to instantly get there. Because the event instantly completes as well, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> dog is walking on top of the thing, so everyone's petting the dog. Instead of doing the sapling. <laughs> Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Pretty much just did a full hour where I tried to focus a little bit more than usual. Not quite as much as I should, but still, we got almost 3000 bark and almost 100k woodcutting XP in one hour. So it is pretty good for sure. And it should only be like 13 hours to get enough bark this way. It's time to get the first log slot from forestry. We have up to 6200 bark. We need 5000 for this first reward together with 300 oak and willow logs. So we can buy ourselves the log basket. This basically works like a fish barrel where we can uh, carry an extra 28 logs inside of this thing. So let's buy it. There we go. Log slot number 1101. The log basket obtained one out of eight on the forestry log let's continue chopping pause mystery box Key! 
Easy clue scroll, let's go! Time for second reward that only costs 3000 bark. Alongside 300 maple logs, 300 yew logs, we can get the log brace. So let's buy one of those. Second log slot obtained, and now we can combine the basket together with the forestry kit and all of these things. But first we need a sturdy harness. Hang on. Sturdy harness. Uh, can I just use it on that? Yep, there we go. Sturdy harness. And now we have the forestry basket. So basically the forestry kit and the log basket in one item. Very epic indeed. Oh, that crept up on me. We actually got a woodcutting level. Level 92. I expect to get one or two more levels for sure before I'm done here, but that's pretty nice. Time for item number three. We just got another 10,000 bark, so that means we can get the clothes pouch blueprint. There we go. We can now craft a clothes pouch if we have leather, thread, and the clothes pouch blueprint. So let's get leather and thread. Wait, leather? As in normal leather? Shit, I don't have that. Am I doing it? Okay, there we go. We have the clothes pouch and I think we can also combine this with our basket now. You expand your forestry kit basket to be able to hold a lumberjack outfit. Awesome. It doesn't even look different. <laughs> but now we can put this in here and still get the effect of the lumberjack outfit so we can wear different fashion scape. That is so awesome. Before we continue, because at this point we still need another 20,000 bark. I need to get 740 arctic pine, 740 yew and 740 redwood logs before I'll be done. Oh, look, a crash star. I'm going to get an enchanted liar because that's going to help me get the arctic pines and also teleport there in case there's a scout at the yaks. So we're going to get that real quick. Okay, nice. We have the enchanted liar eye. Okay, I didn't need the one raw bass. Cool. So now we can play this and teleport to all these different places. Mainly Nate is not is what we're interested in right now. Because that teleports us straight to the middle of Nate is not, which is going to be useful for clue steps. But also to go and chop some arctic pines here so that we can get those for forestry. Alright, I've collected all of the logs I need for the remaining rewards, other than the 740 redwood logs I still need, so it's time to spend the most time still collecting those. We are currently at 12,685 bark. I still need 20,000, so as we collect those redwood logs, I'll keep doing some encounters and get the remaining bark as well. And there's the second woodcutting level on this grind as well. 93 woodcutting, let's go. Okay, I'm done collecting all the redwood logs as well, so now there's just one thing left. I was just mainly AFKing redwoods without doing any events, so I still need to get 5,500 bark. But if I completely focus on all the events that get called out in the clan chat right here, I think that should only take like two more hours maybe. So I'm just standing here in, in Sears Bank about to get the final bark for forestry, right? And this guy's here, Winterdell, who I saw a lot at Wintertod when I was there on Extreme Log. It looks like they saved up some crates to try and get some post 200 mil phoenixes after the uh, pet rate change because they just got seven. <laughs> oh wait, that's six. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six phoenix so far? I don't know if they still have crates, but they just keep getting phoenixes and everyone's like, what the hell? How's that guy getting phoenixes? <laughs> I think this is going to be the last one, guys. The very last forestry event we have to do for now until they release batch two. There we go. That gives us some more bark and we now have over 20,000. That's exactly what we need. So let's grab all of our logs and let's finish the log. Here we go. They did also add the lumberjack outfit to the log now, I believe. And look, they organized it alphabetically. How nice. Wait, I have two lumberjack tops? Since when? Anyways, let's get the full forestry outfit and the funky shaped log. Here we go. Buy one of these, one of these, one of the boots, get the top. And last but not least, also the funky shaped log, which you can feed to a beaver, which I do not have, but maybe one day I will. And there we have it. Five more collection log slots obtained. And that is forestry green log for now until they release batch two in a couple of months from now. Now we can actually start working on our actual master task, which is the two LMS log slots. So let's head out there. Also, just to see how many leaves we end up with, which are going to get some use in part two as well, I think. Uh, we got 153 normal leaves, 409 oak, 688 willow, 335 maple, 615 yew, and 690 magic leaves. Very nice. 
Now we have this outfit, which I don't know if I like, but we have it. <laughs> there we go. Can we also put this in the basket thing? Yes, we can. Okay, no, lovely. I'll just store it in here. We are done. Let's go to LMS. All right, here we are. So we need to get two lock slots. Justine has the full dead man's outfit here with the chest, the legs and the cave, which are all 160 points each, which are the cheapest items we can get right now. Because other than that is a swift blade, 350. Gothixian icon is 500. And then all the halos are 450 each. We will be going for all of those eventually, but obviously we'll go for the cheapest ones first. We are at 29 wins and the next cape is 50 wins. So if there's enough bots, Maybe we'll get 21 wins before we get 320 points. I doubt it, but it could happen. But either way, we are going for two items, so we'll see what happens. We'll see how many wins we can get along the way. Their final HP. Who's gonna be my opponent? Oh my god, it's Roof Jumper 64 bringing it home at the end there. Well, here goes nothing. Ah, oh, good fight. <laughs> I guess, I guess that works. We just double Void Waker and we win. Nice, first win on the task. Lovely, we are now at... Yeah, we now have 30 wins. Lovely. Oh wait, that was a win? Oh, I didn't realize that that was the last guy already. Okay, nice. Second victory, baby, let's go. I have a feeling the last one alive is gonna be a bot and we're just gonna get another win here. Well, there's my win. Cool. I guess we just get another win because the last like four or five remaining people were all bots. We already got 10 wins so far in 98 points. So I think we'll probably get to 50 wins on this task and just buying one item from the dead man um, set. We're also up to rank lead, which is pretty cool, I guess. It's just infested with bots. We're getting a lot of free kills. It's mostly just waiting for bots to show up to kill them every now and then we get a real fight as well, but... Well, we just got another win and we now have enough points to buy the first item, but I guess I'll just get the rest of the wins done as well, because we just need three more wins at this point to get the 50 win cape, which I'll definitely get before another 160 points. So just three more victories and we'll be done. We'll be able to get two more lock slots. I think this might be the end. There's two more survivors, but I have a feeling that they will simply die because there are bots. Yep, there. <laughs> we found them. Lovely! This will be the end of the grind. Let's just quickly finish it off. We did it! That is win number 50! Thanks to all the... Well, bots. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. We went from 29 to 50 wins, I think. And we got 194 points along the way. So now we can buy two lock slots. We can buy one of the dead man's items, which I guess I'll go for the cape for now. That means next time we'll get the body and the legs. So we'll buy the cape and we'll also buy the tier three cape that we can just get for free because we got 50 wins. There we have it. Two lock slots added to LMS. We have 1,110 total collections logged now. And last man standing is now at 20 out of 32. 50 wins. Easy as that. Could of course get the back to back. So let's find out what we get. The question is, which cape looks better? Well, the Infernal Cape, but <laughs> out of these two new capes, Victor's Cape 50, right there with the, um, I guess, emeralds in the crown. Pretty cool. And the Dead Man's Cape is this, which is also pretty cool, actually. I like that. It's a longer cape. Uh, I'll, okay, I'll stop, I'll... <laughs> I'll stop procrastinating. I'll generate the new task. I'm just dreading this, man. All of these tasks are so rough. Like, clues are kind of whatever, right? Clues are pretty chill. But then there's, like, minigame lock slot. LMS is all right. There's raids, boss pets, skilling pets. Well, everything is rough. Everything is pain. Let's complete that one. Two master tasks completed, baby. All right. <laughs> what do I even want? What do I even want, man? Like a 99, I'll go do some winter toll. I guess that's fine. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna do some Chambers of Zarek now. Let's go. I mean, that's fine. We've not done Chambers in a very long time, I feel. We're missing the Dust. We're missing the Elder Maul, Coda Insignia, Dragon Claws, Ancestral Rope Top, Ancestral Rope Bottom, Dins, Dragon Hunter Crossbow, Onyx, Twisted Ancestral Color Kid, and all the caves from CMs. I should probably get into CMs. We'll see how this goes, but we need to get one new lock slot out of all of these now. I guess we'll just try and send it. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. But I mean, we have some gear upgrades since last time, obviously. We've got the Mazori stuff. We've got the Zarid Van Braces, the Tor of a Helm, the Infernal Cape, a Vernic, everything, dude. Everything. So hopefully it'll go well. 
first raid. Let's get a purple. Well, that's unfortunate. Get me out. Ooh, a torn prayer scroll. Let's go. Uh, that was just a bit unfortunate at the end, wasn't it? Oh, well, that's fine. We move. Second raid. No way! Grimy, Quarm, and Land to Die. Let's go. At least that one went better. We still have four full brews left at the end, so that one was pretty flawless. We're getting back into it. Adamant or Grimy Irid Leaves. I kind of like how you see the drops now before you actually open the chest. 250 Chambers of Zeric kill count. Unfortunately, no purple for that. No purple on the first raid of the day. What a scam. Oh, an elite clue. We'll take that. First elite on raid number 8. Kill number 10. Raid number 10, I should say. Dynamite and Dwarf Weeds. Cool. 10 raids in. Oh my god. We got a torn prayer scroll. No way. Oh, and elite clue. Yay. More dwarf weed. That's like the third dwarf weed in a row as well. It's that time again. We are 14 raids in and my trident has run out of charges. I know what you're all thinking. Tedious, why are you not using your fucking sanguinesti stuff? Well, I have no, <laughs> no blood runes. I, I literally have like 3,000 bloods in my pouch. So we're going to do some Zolra again for Zolra scale so we can charge a trident and then we're coming back. Dark Relic and the Torn Prayer Scroll. That's a crazy drop, actually. Wow. We'll take that. That's some Murbler XP, I suppose. The first Dark Relic. Already the fourth Torn Prayer Scroll as well. Literally, I'm only two minutes of my PB. And I died at Vespula and at Ohm because I forgot my stamina. This would have been like an easy PB if I didn't fuck up. Holy. I feel like this could have been like a 20 minute raid. Also, that's now raid number 20 on this task, so probably like two-thirds of the way to the drop raid of uh, purple, right? Ooh, let's go, dude. 21 minutes, new PB by almost two minutes. And we get a master combat task as well, the master solo speed chaser. Look at that. We did it. 20 minutes and 57 seconds. That was close, though. <laughs> we were definitely very close to death, but we did it either way. And we got our sixth Torn Prayer Scroll already in 21 raids. Ah, uh, raid number 30. We still don't have a purple. We are pretty much at the drop rate now for a purple on this task, so I'm expecting one soon, but unfortunately, nothing yet. Oh, wow, no way. What do you know? More white lights. Oh, an elite clue. Hey, it's been a while. That's actually the third elite clue on this task in 37 raids now, so that's something. Raid number 40 for yet another white light. It's not looking good. So far, no purples in 40 raids, so we are, you know, a little bit over the drop right now for our first purple, but I'm sure we'll see one before we get to 50 kill counts. Ah, uh, yes. There... <laughs> There it is, ladies and gentlemen, after 46 raids, we get ourselves the first purple. And it's an arcane prayer scroll, as to be expected. We do not get a new unique straight away on the first purple. There's arcane number three on the account. The third duplicate now, one duplicate head, two duplicate arcanes. 46 raids in, let's see if we get another purple quickly. Back to back. No back-to-back. -back. Fair enough. 290 total Chambers of Zerik KC now. Raid number 50 on the task. Can we get something? Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Just another white light with some junk. 50 raids done. Probably 50 more to come. Isn't it? Yep. That's a brutal combo. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck is that combo?! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> There's no way that just happened! Pretty good run there. It's actually a new PB, 2049. Wait, what was my previous PB? It was 20 something as well, right? Can I still see it? I guess I can't. I think it was... What was my PB? Like 2051 or something? I don't know, but we got a new PB, 2049. That's pretty nice. 300 raids have been completed. Unfortunately, we get another white light, so we'll just keep trucking through. 57 on this task so far. Oh my god. <laughs> well, raid number 60, we get our second purple, and it's the other scroll this time around. The second dexterous prayer scroll on the account. Uh, well, now that we've had two scrolls, that means that the third purple is going to be a new one, right? It's like the, the new DT2 rings. We're two out of three now. No way! 
Oh my god, we actually got an onyx. Holy shit. <laughs> That's just great, isn't it? That is just a great. We completed the task with an onyx from Tecton. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Wait, let me check. How many Tectons did I kill? I have killed 49 Tectons on this task. 66 raids done. I'm still gonna finish this uh, this raid. Maybe we'll get a purple as well and we can complete another chamber's task. But that is the task completed. Oh brother, what a way to get it. 66 raids without a new purple, but that's fine. Can we get a purple on the Onyx raid? Here we go. No, of course not. We get some soul runes and some lizardman fangs, but that is fine by me. We finish on 67 raids this task. 310 total chambers of Zurich count. Unfortunately, no new purple unique, but that'll have to be for next time. We got our luck slot and that is all we care about. Let's take a look at the collection log real quick. Chambers of Zerik, 9 out of 23 now. Maybe next time I'll do some CMs as well to try and work on that first cape and maybe a Twisted Ancestral Color Kit or even the dust to use on my omelette, who knows. But right now it's time to play some catch-up. There's technically 11 new tasks in the Elite tier for the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. So it's time for us to also finally do Desert Treasure 2. And for now, I'm going to get four of those 11 uniques. Then I'll do another Master Task, then four more uniques, then another Master Task, and then the final three. And then I'll add the rest to the Master tier afterwards as well. But right now, it's questing time. I guess I may as well complete the task as well on my dashboard, but we won't generate the next one until we actually complete those DT2 uniques first. All right, let's quickly go and do a Barrow's run for the mini quest, his faithful servants, and then we should have everything ready to start Desert Treasure 2. All right, quickly finish the Barrow's run and... Oh, I was like, wait, what item is that? We got a strange icon. Wow. I guess I have to bring that to the guy now. Hello, sir. I found this icon. Please take it. Icon? Yes. Did he just destroy it? Why did I even bother getting it for him? What is this? Cool. Did I complete it? Okay, we did. I forgot that it doesn't it doesn't give a pop-up. We have an XP lamp as well, free 20,000 prayer XP. And we're gonna get even more from Desert Treasure 2. Let's go. Here we go. Enter the vault door. And let's start the Desert Treasure 2, the Fallen Empire quests. Here we go. Whoa. I hope there's a lot of epic cutscenes like this in the quest. Shit, I got strangled. Down. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> All right. Time to kill the first boss, Fardorvis. Here we go. What am I supposed to die against? That guy? Surely not. Anyways, one down, three to go. Motherfucker. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. Okay, you're dead. We got the first medallion. Let's go. All right, let's see what the Leviathan is like. The Leviathan question mark, level three. Oh, he's a bit higher level than that. Yay, we did it. Pet first kill during the quest? No, that would have been a bit silly, wouldn't it? Time for Duke Succulus. Woo. All of these fights are going to be easier once I actually use the tile markers, but I don't have them active yet for the quest, so that's all right. There we go. Duke down. That's three out of four medallions taken care of. Now it's just the part with the Whisperer. And just like that, we unlock the entrance to the Whisperer, the final boss we have to defeat. There we go, Whisperer down. So, oh my god, money! Jesus Christ, that's 1.1 mil for killing a quest boss? Thank you very much. The very last part of Desert Treasure 2, where we have to fight each of Sliska's whites one by one. Let's see if we can do that first try as well. That's the first one. Number two down. Number three down. Last one. Well, I guess that was it. That was pretty easy. I expected them to be a lot stronger. Just a little bit more space barring and we have completed Desert Treasure 2. There we have it. We have reobtained our quest cape and our music cape. And we get some lamps that we can put on prayer. Free 300 thousand xp in prayer and that's gonna give us a level as well there we go 86 prayer and we are ready to take on the actual bosses now after the quest the plan is to get one unique from each of them so let's see which one we are going to start with 
Okay, so the plan is to get one unique from each of the bosses and we're starting with the Whisperer. So we've got the setup going. We're using the Accursed Scepter for the special attack at the start of the kill. And we'll see how it goes. I'm bringing a little bit of food just in case I take some damage. It technically should be a zero damage boss, but obviously at the start we'll probably make some mistakes. So here goes nothing. Let's see what the first drop is going to be. I guess I'm most likely to get all the teleport tablets, which would be nice for the future unique. So I'll take anything I can get really. That was unfortunate. I, uh, listen, I was distracted by the lag, okay? The, the one phase lags me out. I can't do anything. I was stun locked in my brain. That, that was rough. We actually went insane on like the last stick of that kill, but we still got it. Let's bank real quick. Let's reassess the situation. It's just a little bit of practice, okay? It's easy enough, but we just need a few kills to get it under our belt, you know? Okay, that was better, I guess. These kills are over four minutes and that's a bit too long to my liking, man. Jesus Christ. But hey, at least the tablets are very common, right? It's like one in 25. So, it's not too bad. That was pretty clean. Mithril ore. Alright, five kills down, almost sub four minutes now, okay. Time to apply the secret tech, where we use thralls and then we run away from the special attack so it doesn't freeze us. And then we don't need ice brush. Let's go. Oh wait, I should probably summon a thrall then. <laughs> that wasn't the cleanest kill, but it's still a kill, you know. It's all about learning. We're, we're just learning right now. Hey, there we go, 349. It's kind of awkward when he's not in the middle, I feel. Like, that makes it harder. Wait, that was the same time again, 349. <laughs> I think that was a perfect kill. I'm pretty sure it was, and it was also 3 minutes and 36 seconds. 10kc, not bad. At least we're getting a good amount of death runes here, that's nice. If only we could get some blood runes, that'd be nicer. Oh! Oh, we got an Awakener's Orb. <laughs> Well, that's not the teleport tablet, but I guess that means we got the first lock slot out of four, and that's the lock slot from the Whisperer. So we'll leave this place now and we'll move on to the next boss. Let's go! <laughs> okay, time to try the Leviathan then. I'm gonna camp the Armadale crossbow with ruby bolts at the start into diamond bolts, and I have my dark bow to spec on the final phase, because obviously I don't have a web weaver, so maybe this helps out. Just starting with that spec and then finishing it off. Here goes nothing! I'm scared. Okay, nice. First try, first kill, easy does it. Three minutes, two seconds, we'll take that. Not the cleanest, but I mean, for the first kill, that's all right, you know? F 180 pure essence, fuck right off. What do you mean 180 pure essence? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> oh, hey, we're done, nice. We got the scar tablet, let's get out of here. Woo, five kills for the tablet. Second unique obtained. That was two minutes and 50 seconds as well, we're zooming. Let's inspect that. That's the first teleport unlock. Wait, what does it say? Does that mean I did it? Can I use the teleport now? Let me check the ring. Teleport. No. Do I use it on it? Oh, there we go. Now we can teleport to the scar. Beautiful. Moving on to the third boss. All right, Vardorv is up next as the third boss. We are just in max melee. We're going to use the Fang on Slash. We bring SGS as a spec weapon because we don't have Dragon Claws or Void Waker. Hopefully, we don't die like we didn't do at Leviathan, which I'm pretty happy with, I guess. All right, Vardorv is. Here goes nothing. Dude, I'm getting hit by everything now because I'm trying to, like, set things up. Fuck me. Oh, shit. I'm dead as fuck. I'm alive. I'm... I got him. That was easy. <laughs> Clean kill, 2-2-2 two, 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 Trout Gang. Let's bank. <laughs> okay, listen, it's, uh, sometimes you just gotta die a few times and then you get used to something. We kind of just run into everything there, but it'll all be fine after a little while. <laughs> okay, well, we're done again. Cool, let's get out of here. <laughs> Easy does it, just like the Leviathan, we get the tablet on 5kc. Lovely, on to the Duke, the final boss, let's go. There we go, second teleport unlocked. Woo. All right, time to duke it out. Here we go. I just need to get used to all the timing and then it'll be fine, you know. Then it'll be fine. See, that was better. Oh my God, money. Jesus, 800,000 coins. There it is. Uh, 31 kills on the Duke for that tablet as well. And just like that, we are done with phase one of catching up with the elite tasks of the Desert 2, Desert Treasure 2 bosses. That is our fourth unique. One unique from each boss. 
And now it's time to generate the next master task. Let's use this one on the ring as well. We have all the teleports other than the whisperer one now, but after the next master task, we'll do four uniques again. And we'll go for that one unique from each boss again, probably. So we'll probably get a tablet from the whisperer then. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And that is all but one now. Just Lassar Undercity left. The only thing I'm hoping for now is that we don't get a Chambers of Zeric task again, because I want to do something else. But then again, I feel like most things are pretty terrible right now. I guess clue scrolls could be all right. You know, three uniques from one of these. Mini games, rough, LMS, quick, Chambers, TOV, TOA, rough. You know, all of the others pretty rough as well, so pretty much every task is hard right now. What's it gonna be, man? I want LMS because I want to do more of these. I want to do more of these Desert Treasure 2 bosses. So if we get an LMS task, that's quick and we can just go back to the Desert Treasure 2 bosses and get a few more uniques of those, all right? Here we go. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. Well, it, uh, well, it's TOA. Tombs of a Mask. It's been a while since we've done that, so I guess it's all right. Then again, considering it's just any lock slot right now, I could also go for one of these things. I could go for one of the higher invocation completions and get a lock slot that way. If I do a 425, I get the Menified Ornament Kit. So that might be my goal. I could try and go for one completion on 425 invocation and grab myself the Menified Ornament Kit. We'll see. We'll see if I can do that.